Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I am going to be talking about having your partner's Saturn in your fifth house and what that may look like in your relationship. It is one that might be less likely to start out with that sense of fireworks, a whirlwind of a romance, and there could be the sense of being more purposeful. And there's a sense that both of the partners have a planned start to their relationship, and it can be that they are really intentionally wanting to come into relationship with each other. They could have similar visions, they could have similar purposes, and they kind of go after that together. For instance, the Saturn person looks at the fifth house person and really admires their creativity, their enthusiasm. And they can really see that as being something that is of value and will bring the potential for a lot of growth and a lot of stability to their connection. And the fifth house person is very much the person who's bringing the passion in some way. While on the other hand, the Saturn person is providing this grounded force to that passion. And there's a very realistic approach when it comes to the relationship and relationships in general between the two of them. And the fifth house is the house of, of dating, of fun, of creativity, passion, and even children, things like talents and performing and expressing oneself and so what Saturn being here in a relationship does is really provide a lot of grounded practical energy when it comes to the way in which they see those things and even the way in which they go about pursuing those things in their relationship. They can even take their um, their relationship can be geared towards a creative project and they take it very they approach it very practically even the way that they have fun together they they could be the couple that really plans that and also has a lot more has a lot of substance behind the fun and it has a way of making it last but it can still feel like it is a bit of a contrasting energy between the fifth house person and the Saturn person especially even at first they really get together because it can feel like the Saturn person has a more structured approach and the fifth house person has a more spontaneous approach compared to the Saturn person. Even though that can be very stabilizing, it can also just feel very contrasting and serious and overly responsible to their creative nature. And especially if the fifth house person has a Saturn in say their own fifth house or depending on where Saturn is in the fifth house person's charts they can feel like there's this added responsibility and duty that they don't appreciate from the Saturn person and they can have a hard time seeing the Saturn person providing that maturity to their commitments because they can feel like it's at the expense of their own spontaneity their own creative expression and creative nature but it does depend on the relationship that the fifth house person has with their own Saturn because they can also appreciate what the Saturn person is bringing to them. The fifth house person can really prioritize fun, um, creative expression, and they can really appreciate the Saturn person kind of bringing a balance to that energy. The Saturn person can even help them when it comes to channeling that energy towards a more purposeful pursuit and being more disciplined around their passions. The fifth house person can actually really appreciate that support or that guidance from the Saturn person in this way. And the Saturn person may also help the fifth house person when it comes to helping them find their way around romantic relationships and what it means to be able to have a solid foundation in a relationship and how to build that so that it lasts long term and it has more purpose, it has more potential and it 
it's it's a, it's reaching a goal for the fifth house person and it's also having a positive impact on other areas of their lives they could need to find balance between doing things just for the enjoyment in this relationship and also doing things with structure and with a strong sense of responsibility to why they're doing them and in this way the Saturn person can learn from the fifth house person's natural exuberance and their love for it, the enjoyment and this fifth house person can also learn from the Saturn person and being very grounded at times when it comes to the approach to the playfulness in their relationship and even though the relationship might be one that has fewer spur of the moment adventures it is one that has on the upside a stronger sense of security and shared visions for the future between the two partners because they can be the kind of partners who invest their time in the kind of activities that are gonna have some kind of a long-term benefit when it comes to the way that they are bonding while they are doing it and it could be contributing to shared goals and shared interests that are gonna benefit them and even if they have kids with this industry the Saturn person could be the one that is more of the strict parent or the parent that is very much of the disciplinary between the two and the Saturn person might emphasize structure um, following a rule book more so than the fifth house person even when the fifth house person looks at the Saturn person they could get the sense that the Saturn person could make a good parent to their children they could have a desire to have children have the Saturn person's children the Saturn person can also come into this relationship with children they could have a lot of reasoning out things like finances and children can be a responsibility that's added on to this relationship between the Saturn person and the fifth house person and they take that very seriously any other kind of constraints that can kind of look like a bit of a damper on plans for kids they could be a constraint around children or they could be delays around the topic of even taking on that responsibility and just generally the synastry can be really great when it comes to being able to have a relationship that's very intentional and if both of the partners have a strong value for a sense of commitment and a focus on building a strong foundation that's going to be for the future this dynamic can be very fulfilling and it can really be great especially if the partners are both at that phase well, that does it for this video on having your Saturn in your partner's fifth house in Sinistry. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and you found it helpful. If you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to this channel for more videos. Well, that is where I love and leave you. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.